Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about costs, which is an essential aspect of project management. Understanding the different types of costs is crucial for effective project planning and control. The first type of cost we will discuss is direct costs. These costs are directly attributable to the project and can be easily traced to a specific work package or activity. Examples of direct costs include materials, labor, and equipment. It is important to accurately estimate and track these costs to stay within budget. Moving on to indirect costs. These costs are not directly tied to a specific work package, but are necessary for the project's overall success. Indirect costs can include overhead expenses such as rent, utilities, and administrative salaries. While they may be more challenging to allocate to specific activities, they still impact the project's budget and need to be accounted for. Now, let's talk about fixed costs. These costs remain constant regardless of the project scale or duration. Fixed costs include items like software licenses, insurance premiums, and equipment leases. They are predetermined and do not fluctuate based on project's progress. When planning a project, it's crucial to identify and allocate fixed costs accurately. Next up, we have variable costs. As the name suggests, these costs vary in direct proportion to the project's volume or output. For instance, if you're constructing a building, the cost of construction materials will increase as you build more floors or expand the project's scope. Variable costs are closely tied to project's activities and should be carefully monitored to avoid unexpected budget overruns. Next, we have the opportunity cost. Opportunity costs refer to the potential benefits or profits that could have been gained by choosing an alternative course of action. It represents the value of what is foregone when a particular decision is made. Lastly, we have the sunk costs. Sunk costs are costs that have already been incurred and cannot be recovered, regardless of the project's outcome. Sunk costs are not considered in decision-making because they are irrelevant to future choices. Project managers should focus on future costs and benefits when making decisions, rather than dwelling on past investments. That concludes our discussion on the types of costs in project management. Remember, understanding and managing costs effectively is critical for project success. By accurately estimating, tracking, and allocating costs, we can ensure that our projects stay within budget and deliver value to our stakeholders. I hope you have found the information valuable. If you did so, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.